hey guys welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be just a quick little swatch and first impression of the new chanel rouge coco bloom uh lipsticks now um my amazing um chanel rep um she's my chanel sa sophia i didn't purchase any of these uh lipsticks when they launched um i don't know i wasn't drawn to them at first of uh, there was just um there weren't a lot of nudes and i own a lot of the coco flash uh lipsticks so i don't know i just didn't purchase any i just thought this is probably just going to be something a little bit more pigmented than my chanel coco rouge and the nudes that were part of the collection are a little too red and pink for me but and like i said she was so kind and she surprised me by sending me like this little pamphlet that brings a bunch of uh, little swatches to try uh, there are eight in total and so i will go ahead and swatch each one on my lips so that you guys can see the colors uh she had put a really sweet card inside sophia if you're watching this thank you so much for uh sending this to me i truly appreciate it uh and there is this cute little um makeup bag inside i gotta show this to you guys If you follow me on Instagram, I, I posted a picture of this, but for those of you who don't, how cute is that? A little patent leather box with a little Chanel tab on it to put all your little Chanel Coco Bloom lipsticks inside. I digress. Okay, so the first color I have on is... I'm starting uh, with the lightest color. It's just the easiest. This one is 124 Merville. And it is a true pink. It works fairly well on my skin tone. I usually don't wear pinks this color, but I like it. I do have to say that. Um, the dry down of this product is a little different uh, it goes on very shiny but once it dries down a lot of that shine uh, goes away but it stays moisturizing I don't know how they did it and it's very pigmented so let's move on to the next color this one is 126 season It's like a cherry pink so it's in the pink family but I feel like it's got a cherry undertone this is uh, 138 um, I don't know French but Vitalite I don't know <laughs> or Vitalite Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. It is a bright red with a slightly blue undertone. That's what it comes off as. I'm gonna go ahead and apologize right now. Um, I'm actually doing these swatches. I'm applying this with my finger. Uh, I don't have a lipstick brush, so. doing my best hope you guys enjoy next will be 140 alive here's alive this one's kind of like a slight little like shimmery metallic very subtle but it's got like a little metallicness to it and again this is 140 alive Here's 134 Sunlight. 
this is a deep orange um, color so I like the name it's supposed to remind you of like a sunset I guess This one is 118 Radiant. The, I thought this was gonna be like a deep plum color according to the card. It's like very red and plum, but it's actually a mauve tone. I may pick this one up and so far I really like Sunlight, which is that orange shade. We'll see. But these are my two favorite. Now, I apologize uh, with Sunlight, it barely had anything in the swatch card, so it was hard for me to get a lot of pigmentation, but I am scraping off every single little bit. This one is 144 Unexpected. This is a really deep red. Uh, it's got um, like that burgundy tone to it. My lips are getting so dry. I apologize if this is starting to look a little crusty. Again, 144 unexpected. This one is 144. I can't speak. 148 surprise. This one barely had anything in the swatch card, so it's pretty hard for me to get it on here. But um, it's kind of hard for you to see it on camera again I apologize uh, this is a very deep um, it's a violet red definitely like a blackberry kind of color so after swatching these by the way, again, thank you so much, Sophia, for my finger stained, <laughs> for making this video possible. Uh, the two shades I actually liked the most were uh, Sunlight and, which that one's 134. And where is it? I can't find it now. It was that Mavi one. You guys know what I'm talking about. The Mavi one, the cards are all open and stuck together, so I can't find it right now. <laughs> 118 Radiant, I found it. It was stuck behind 126 Season. So 118 Radiant. It is a, a Mavi tone. I really like that one. I was actually pleasantly surprised. And Sunlight. So, um, like I was telling you guys, I had to work fairly quickly. So, they apply very pigmented and very shiny, but there is a dry down uh, that happens where they're not as shiny. Once they dry down, they are not transfer proof. So, uh, let me go ahead and show you. I've got a napkin right here. And I don't have a lot on, obviously, because, you know, I these were like little swatch cards. But there is color transfer, so it's not like something you can wear under your mask. Uh, however, these do stain the lips. So even with the lightest color, what it leaves behind is a very nice stain. And if that's something that you like, you like that stained look, you're really going to like these. Um, and they're very highly highly pigmented so with the rouge coco flash um they're very light they are very shiny you know they do have that nice shine to them but they don't stain your lips so you're not gonna be left behind with any kind of color uh they're gonna fade away pretty quickly and that's kind of the difference between these two uh this says that it has some lip plumping effect I don't feel it at all, uh, to be quite honest, and take everything that I say with a grain of salt because 
these are swatch cards so i don't actually own a full bullet of these if i decide to pick up those two colors i mentioned i'll go ahead and do a follow-up video but i kind of just wanted to get on here and show you guys all of these um swatches i thought it would be fun so i hope that you enjoy it uh the whole collection i'm sure they're going to be coming out with much like many more colors as the you know year goes on or maybe next year uh, because most of these colors have a red undertone a lot of them are these pink reds so i think chance is the nudist color out of all of them and even that color does have uh, some pink red undertone to it uh, if you guys bought some of these and you love them leave me a comment down below i would really love to hear your thoughts on them I think that it's a cool concept so um, you have the feeling of a lip balm like the cocoa flash but you get the lasting power of a lipstick uh, so you're kind of getting the best of both worlds if you you know really think about it and then as you eat and drink you are left with a stain on the lip like a pretty heavy stain so it kind of um i say this is even darker than when you buy those little lip stains from different brands you know like i know benefit has a couple of them uh but this is definitely much darker the stain that this leaves is much darker than that uh but yeah i my first impression on this is i like them i think it's a really cool you know new a concept but I'm gonna wait until they come out with more colors because I would really like to see some browns um, maybe some more um, softer nudes is really what I like but if like I said if I pick up sunlight and um, radiant I will do a follow-up video thank you so much for watching and see you next time bye